The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is the first device in the world to be shipped with Android 12 L. And it is also the first device that actually utilizes all of those new features available. Why is this update important? Well, it is actually prior to Android 12 L, all phones are literally just the same way like their tablets despite having a smaller or bigger screen and Android tried to differentiate tablets and phones with Android 3.0 back in like 2011 we, yeah that is called Android 3.0 Honeycomb but as we know that didn't turn out really well so fast forward to today we have Android 12 L that improves multitasking drastically on larger displays including foldables like this one and also tablets alike in today's video, I want to explore how multitasking works and how well it actually works because some apps don't really support multitasking as well. Okay, so before we begin, I want to head into the settings menu real quick and go all the way down to the lamps menu and then we can find a total of 5 different options here. The first one is crucial which is multi-window for all apps. This forces all apps that don't officially support multi-window to use it in multi-window mode like Shopee and Lazada, those two apps are just notorious and you can force it to work in multi-window via this option. And then the option to show multi-window menu with just one window is actually the middle top bar at the center of the screen. If you tap on that bar, then it will show you some options to enter multitasking mode and whatnot. Honestly, I just disable this feature because I don't like to enter multitasking that way. Instead, what I use is the swipe for split screen option. You can swipe with your two fingers either from the left to right or right to left or even from the bottom to top to enter multitasking mode. Or we can just tap and hold any apps at the bottom of the taskbar and then drag it in to enter multitasking view. We'll talk more about the taskbar later in this video. And then we also have yet another option here to swipe for pop-up view. This is actually to swipe from either the top left or top right corner to enter floating app mode. Then you can either resize the app by tapping on either corners yet again and then drag to resize or you can just tap on it at the top there to maximize or minimize the app into a bubble. And then if you want to use the full uninterrupted view when multitasking, you can also enable the option full screen in split screen view. However, I find this to be quite a buggy feature because apps like Telegram will sometimes be unusable because I cannot tap into the text field and start typing. Sometimes, and that is because I managed to get it work while I'm testing this feature yet again, so I'm not sure what's affecting it. Okay, with those settings out of the way, it is now time for the taskbar. The single most important feature that Android has developed so far. When you open an app, the entire bottom row of your home screen will become the taskbar. That means you can put whatever apps you want down in the bottom bar of your home screen and that will become your taskbar shortcuts so that you can easily access when you are in some other apps. There's also a separator at the right side of the taskbar that shows you the apps that you have recently minimized. So you can toggle between your favorite apps on the left side and then toggle between those apps that you just recently closed at the right side. Of course, you can head into the settings menu yet again to customize how the taskbar acts. You can disable the recently minimized apps which is the separated parts on the right side of the taskbar or you can also enable or disable the option to tap and hold the taskbar to hide it. Honestly, I disabled the latter option because I just find it to be quite annoying and I like the taskbar there. Then the taskbar will also change depending on your navigation style. If you use gesture navigation like I do, then the taskbar will be quote unquote centered at the bottom of the screen. If you use navigational buttons, then the taskbar will either be biased to the left or the right side depending on where you place those buttons. Ah, you might have seen articles saying that the taskbar only works if you're using Samsung's One UI launcher and that is kinda true but also kinda not true at the same time. For example, if I use Nova Launcher, then the taskbar will forever be there even though I'm at the home screen of Nova Launcher and that is because Nova Launcher is getting treated as a third-party app. That also means that you cannot customize your taskbar shortcuts. So for those who prefer to use other launchers other than Samsung's default One UI Launcher, then you are going to have a problem with this. 
Since we also have enabled multi-window for all apps option in the beginning of this video, we can tap and hold whatever apps we want from the taskbar and yank it to the main screen and then we can enter multitasking mode. Granted, some apps don't work properly like what we mentioned earlier, Lazada for one, it will show up a message saying that it won't support split screen view officially. That is because the app doesn't reposition or scale properly and as you can see here, it's just buggy as hell. You can also drag and drop a total of three different apps in the split screen view as well. And then you can tap at the middle three button thing and then you can tap on the star to quote unquote bookmark this. And then you can add the bookmark either to your home screen or to the taskbar. So the next time when I tap on the bookmark, I can immediately jump back into this split screen view with those apps in that specific arrangement. And those are just some of the tips on how you can multitask with your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Do let us know what is your favorite tip and if we missed out any of the features, do let us know as well and we'll see you guys in the next one. But also please do subscribe because I found out that more than 90% of you guys watch our video but it's not subscribed so yeah, do help us out. Kicks.